Now soaps. So soaps is the sodium or potassium salt of a fatty acid. It's a long carboxylic acid. So if we look over here in this diagram, this is what a uh, soap will look like. So it has a hydrophobic tail and a hydrophilic head. So hydrophilic means water loving. Hydrophobic means like water hating or like scared of water. All right. So if something is so grease, grease is quite hydrophobic. So it doesn't dissolve in water because it doesn't react with it. like it doesn't have polar bonds within itself. So it doesn't react with water through polar bonds. And so because of that, it's quite insoluble in water. And so that's why you'll find water not taking away any of the, so if you have a greasy pan, you'll find that warm water or cold water won't take away any of the grease, right? But soap will, so this is how it works, right? So you have the hydrophilic head, so that's soluble in water. So that's water loving, and you have the hydrophobic tail. So the hydrophobic tail, which hates water, but is soluble in oil and grease because it's um, you know, non-polar and grease is non-polar. What happens is, so we look over to this like, you know, weird like, um, if we look over to this weird um, you know, ball, this gray ball over here, that's a grease um, molecule, that's dissolved grease. So what happens is when we add soap, the hydrophobic tail of the soap starts like, you know, inserting itself into the grease and it ends up looking like this. It ends up looking like a micelle. So this micelle is where the, the tail, the hydrophobic tails, these soap molecules come together to trap the, the grease um, molecule inside a micelle, like a group of uh, soap molecules. And then because it's trapped itself inside a group of soap molecules, uh, these, these grease particles can't combine to form like a ma massive grease like blob essentially, because these micelles have like, you know, separated the grease particles from one another. And after we've separated the grease particles from one another, these grease dots will start floating in the water now. And now all we have to do is rinse away the grease. So what happens is we add the soap into the water, the soap like, you know, reaches the grease in the pan and then the hydrophobic tails, because they hate water, they end up, um, you know, interacting with the grease and they end up inserting the, the tails into the grease. And then, and what happens is after a lot of this soap is attached, the, the grease molecules begin to lift off the surface. And after they lift off of the surface, the soap molecules clump together to form micelles and they trap the grease globules within the, the like a circle or like a ring of soap molecules. So they trap the grease in, within a ring of soap molecules, and it's, this is called the micelle or a, or a gunk sphere, essentially. And these gunk spheres, they start floating in the water now. And because of that, because they're floating in the water and not you know, stuck to a pan or anything, we can just wash them off and we can just um, you know, like clean the pan. Off. So that's how the process of soaps work. Obviously, uh, in school or like in, you'll, you'll learn this a lot more in detail, but in terms of like the two hour time limit, there's not much detail that we can go to in terms of soaps. But yeah, what you need to know is the process of saponification, which is, you know, the process of soaps cleaning stuff and also the structure of a soap. So the hydrophilic head with a hydrophobic tail.